I'm a like devil worshiper. Hey, what do you mean by that lyric, man? You make a city girl believe in Satan. What do you um, mean by that? Not, not actually Satan. Do you believe in Satan? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker entered the rapture. Obviously, all y'all motherfuckers going to hell. Right with me. Oh, you already here. I'm so sorry. You can't get out. You're stuck. It's over. You heard the song a billion times and you didn't even know. Lil Uzi Vert is destroying the music industry. He is using his platform and his music to convince young fans to worship Satan. Between his lyrics, the imagery in his music videos, and the scary rituals he performs at his shows, there's no denying that Lil Uzi Vert is on the dark side. So let's get into it. <music> If you aren't subscribed to the Let's Get Into It podcast, then you're only getting half the tea. For longer videos, deep dives, and of course, more of me, subscribe to the Let's Get Into It podcast listed in the description below. Lil Uzi Vert. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Makes you think, huh? Why is his name Lil Uzi Vert? Because when you say it fast enough, it really just sounds like straight up Lucifer. And that's why I want to talk about rapper Lil Uzi Vert today, because uh, I feel like he is trying to embody Satan. Now, Lil Uzi Vert scares me because he seems like someone who plays on the dark side. And people have even called him out before for being possessed mid-concert. Lil Uzi Vert was called out by internet users after his performance at the Rolling Loud Festival held in Inglewood in March. The rapper debuted his new song, Just Wanna Rock, at a concert with satanic-themed lyrics while also allegedly referring to his girlfriend, JT, of City Girls. He's wearing an all-red outfit with spiky hair and a belt that featured a pentagram, which is a symbol associated with Satan. He was even quoted at one point saying, I make a city girl believe in Satan, kind of saying um, his girlfriend, JT, maybe he's gotten her to sell her soul and join the dark side. In addition to his outfit, Lil Uzi Vert also wore different contacts in each eye, which gave off satanic vibes. He wore a red contact lens in one eye and a blue contact in the other. One person wrote on Twitter, bro got possessed mid-concert. Here are some clips from his performance that point out the evil aspects he included. So you guys can see he had a lot of crosses and mannequins in the background, which seems like symbolic of cemeteries. He also wore a belt with a satanic symbol and lizard eye contacts, making him appear non-human. Wow, jump scare. I mean, you guys must admit there's something a little bit scary about this picture. It's giving me Lil Nas X. It's giving me Sam Smith. It's giving me Illuminati. Here are some comments from Twitter about his performance. One person said frightening AF. Another person said his name is literally Lucifer, Lil Uzi Vert. This person wrote Lil Uzi Vert. Does that name make sense at all? No, it doesn't. It's supposed to be a play on words for Lucifer. This is on point for his brand. People keep saying, oh, it's just contacts. It's just contacts. He's not evil. This person said, uh, you know, it's the crosses and the fire for me. The rapper Little Uzi Vert was standing on a stage decorated with crosses and naked mannequins at the huge Rolling Loud Music Festival while he performed the lyrics, I'll make a city girl believe in Satan while he was wearing a belt that was made up of interconnected Baphomet symbols. The Bible warned us in 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1 that in these last days some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and the doctrines of devils and satan is using individuals like little uzi vert as his mediums to promote his lies in a very sensually stimulating way that will make it easy for millions to embrace the doctrines of devils that will destroy them now if there's one thing i don't want to be labeled as is a crazy conspiracy theorist but i think that you know, you can tell by the performance, by the symbolism, this isn't a conspiracy. And Lil Uzi Vert actually partially addressed his performance at Rolling Loud. TMZ caught up with Lil Uzi Vert while they were in Beverly Hills, and they asked him about his performance, and he made it clear that he does not worship the devil. He says, not actually Satan, but just basically, I make a girl do whatever I say. Referring to the JT believe in Satan line, JT really didn't think too much of it. She was there, and when she heard me make the song, she knows what I really mean. Here's that clip of Lil 
Lil Uzi Vert explaining himself. Hey, what do you mean by that lyric, man? You make a city girl believe in Satan. What do you mean um, by that? Not, not actually Satan, but just basically, I make a girl do whatever I say so. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Well, what did JT think of those lyrics? Um, she really didn't. She really didn't think too much of it. She was there when she heard me make the song. She know what. I, she know like what I really mean. So it's not really about Satan. No. It's just like you make it. Make anyone believe in anything. Yeah. Now, little Uzi Vert was asked about the criticism, saying, I really don't even pay attention to them, even saying that because I just say whatever I want in my songs. It's just like my freedom of speech. I come from a real religious household. I don't mean to offend people, but you know, if they don't like it, they have the option to turn it off. Ah, uh, gotcha. What do you think of people sort of, some people saying like, you know, invoking Satan, you know, not cool, that sort of stuff. What do you think about that? Um... I don't know. Um, I, I really don't even pay attention to them even saying that because um, I just I just say whatever I want in my songs. It's just like my, my freedom of speech. I come from a real religious household, but I just like me finding living my life and being like, I guess, a uh, adult. I actually kind of just say like, you know, anything I want to say and, you know, I don't, even if I offend people, I don't mean to offend people, but, you know, if they don't like it, they have the option to turn it off. So you think they need to chill a little bit? Um, yeah, they, they, they probably need to just chill a little bit. You know, that, just a little. Do you believe in Satan? Um, no. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. It's hard to ignore that he's got a big pentagram on his hat right there. So it makes me, um... It makes me question whether I can believe him or not. Two other artists claimed that they did not like his set. One person, Summer Walker, said, Genuinely curious, have these people ever seen or heard of a demon before? Or it's just a trend because I feel like you have to stop playing. Really, nothing's funny or cute about it. May God be with y'all. Yayo said, that was a little too crazy for me. I believe in God. I'm very religious. I came up in the church. So anything that has to do with Satan, I can't rock with. Let's take a look at some of Lil Uzi's music and some of the symbolism he's pushed out before. Like in this song where he says, let his ass stinking ew. He ain't made the first 48 pussy. Oh my gosh, I'm a real demon. I can't even show my real face. Locked in with the government, I can't even show my real cake. Hmm. Here's another piece of jewelry that he owns that's pretty symbolic and it looks really evil. Is that like Marilyn Manson or someone on a chain with a Mickey Mouse hat on? Here's another piece of artwork where he is, you know, seen right here around a bunch of alternative people and it reads demon high on the front. So very uh, demonic. Another performance where we've got some upside down crosses, clearly not trying to hide it at all. And here's a clip of him talking a little bit more about his artistic approach. We bring up the shit when people say like, I'm a like devil worshiper or anything. But how's the music? <laughs> Cause it'll be a mother be like, Uzi get with God. And then I'll drop a song and like, damn, and it's just like, yeah. like, like, why are y'all even bringing up religion? Religion is just like, why are you bringing, like, we don't, like what they say, don't bring up religion, a woman's age. or yeah. He's asking us not to bring this up, but he's pushing forward with this type of style. So it's hard not to talk about it. He did a magazine cover, a bloody magazine cover, and people started to ask whether he is satanic again. He was the cover of Zero... 32C's magazine, which I've never heard of this before, and he appears to have a bloody nose and displays an upside down cross on his forehead. This is just scary. I mean, I don't like the vibes. Um, like, did he just do so many drugs and that's why his nose is bleeding? Also, the blood looks very fake. Like, if you're gonna do, like, fake blood, at least make it look, like, not bright red. It looks like a child tried to put on a Kylie Jenner lip kit and they just did not know what they were doing. One person wrote on social media, again, with the satanic BS. No one wants his pink tape. He's using his music to brainwash y'all into his demon fandom obsession, which is just going to confuse and destroy the youth. Another person wrote, you love slapping us in the face with satanic symbolism. Another person added that Uzi's gotta act satanic for fame, it's so sad boy went out horrible. And it seems like Lil Uzi Vert is deflecting a little bit by telling his fans at his show that they are going to hell with him. This report writes that Lil Uzi Vert has never shielded away from satanic imagery and symbols in his songs and videos. And during a recent concert in London, he told his fans to go to hell with him. He was quoted saying, and if nobody flying up to heaven right now, obviously y'all mother effers are going to hell with me. His songs started to play and he said, oh, you already here. I'm so sorry, I can't get you out. 
out. You're stuck. It's over. You heard the song a million times and you didn't even know that's effed up, but I still love you anyway, which kind of makes me question. Like, I always think like if someone wanted to like put like satanic chants and music, they could, and then just make it part of their song. And then these people are singing it over and over again. And little do they know they're like chanting some things like kind of like that Nicki Minaj song where she's like, no, 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 no. And the Roman Roman something Roman Raven. I don't know. But she's like, no, 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 which I've heard before. That was like some type of like chant that she's got people doing along with her. Like I told y'all earlier, you motherfuckers entered the rapture. And if ain't nobody flying up to heaven right now, obviously all y'all motherfuckers going to hell right with me. So let's get it. Oh, you already here. I'm so sorry. You can't get out. You're stuck. It's over. You heard the song a billion times and you didn't even know. That's up, but I still like There's no denying that Satan has been a staple in Lil Uzi Vert's career. In 2017, he released a song 444 plus 222, which equals 666, or the biblical number of the beast. In one of his songs, actually, I believe the song with Nicki Minaj called Endless Fashion, there's a line, I sold my souls for chrome heart mixed with car heart. And he's got that lyric, I make city girl believe in Satan. It's tough to ignore that he is admitting in his songs that he's a demon, that he sold his soul, that, you know, he's idolizing Satan. This person wrote, he's obviously a Satanist and belongs to the Illuminati. All the signs are in front of our eyes. He has a song, 444, 222, an upside down cross tattoo, many satanic lyrics and demonic symbols. From the way he looks, you could say he's obviously possessed. Other rappers have actually questioned why little Uzi Burt is getting away with this. One rapper named Tech9 said, Okay, guys, excuse my ignorance, but I've never worn an upside down cross out of respect for my elders who follow Christianity. I've never worshiped the devil like people said I have either, but this is an upside down cross on this superstar's neck, right? How is he not shunned by the black folks that turned their back on me in 2001 due to my imagery of being satanic in their eyes? Not that I want this young brother, Lil Uzi Vert, to be shunned, but I want to understand how folks can look at my painted face and say devil and Satan, but not look at his painted face with an upside down cross and not say devil and Satan. So he's asking a valid question. Like he's been in the industry for a while. He did some controversial things, but nothing to the level of this man. Yet everyone's giving Lil Uzi Vert a pass. People think that Lil Uzi Vert is satanic because of this video that plays before his concert. So a video from one of Lil Uzi Vert's concerts just went viral, showing off these very unsettling animation, saying how many times can you say his name, Uzi, and counting up to six before Lil Uzi Vert starts performing a song. Now because of this very unsettling video, many people have started to accuse Lil Uzi Vert of being satanic. People have done things like pointed out how Lil Uzi Vert sounds kind of like Lucifer, saying why did they stop at 6? And a lot of people are just saying they would leave if this happened at a concert that they went to. As you guys saw Lil Uzi Vert explain in his clip in Beverly Hills, he's not a Satanist, he's not into that stuff, he doesn't even want people to bring up religion. But he's constantly bringing it up and it's hard to look away. So I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Are you convinced? Do you think he's just using this as like kind of like satire and a way to make a name for himself? Or do you think he really believes it? Because a lot of artists, they go through eras. Like right now, Doja Cat's kind of in her evil era, you know, with her demon music and painted all red and all of that. But, you know, she's got other eras as well. And like people like Lady Gaga had Joanne, but Louis Uzi Vert for years for years and years he's stayed to the same stick of like worshiping the devil so i want to hear what you guys think in the comments below and i'll see you in a new video soon bye guys